You better kneel before you talk to a king. <laughs> You better kneel before you talk to a king. You better kneel before you talk to a king. Welcome back guys, my name is Kerb. Today we're making codfish kneel before you talk to a king. You guys requested this and I really like this routine, so let's make a tutorial on it. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. If you haven't heard this routine before by codfish, you can go to codfish's Instagram and find the video there. Or you can just YouTube search Neil before you talk to a king and find the video. You can also go down in the description and click the link to get to that video. Let's get straight into the sounds you'll need for this routine. The first sound is the throat bass. And that I will type in caps lock and caps letters. I have a tutorial for the throat bass if you want to go and check that out. I put the link down in the description. You will need to be able to sing with a throat bass like You better kneel before you talk to a king You will also need to be able to make the boom, Which is basically a kick followed by throat bass saying M boom, boom. You will also need the boom, Which is also a kick in the beginning and then it's followed up by OA in throat bass boom, 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 boom. Also you should be able to make the hmm, 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 hmm. You will also need the BMG snare though. I also have a tutorial for the BMG snare. I put the link down in the description if you want to check it out. You will also need to be able to hum at the same time with the BMG snare. That should not be a problem if you got the BMG snare down right. More about that in the video I linked in the description. You will also be able to hum with throat bass with the BMG snare like you will also need the I will type that as lowercase t It's basically just putting your tongue like here behind your teeth and then You will need that sound because you will need to be able to hum with this so So if I write small letter t with small letter m, I mean Just doing them at the same time. You will also need to do this with a kick so you need to be able to make the kick and hum at the same time, like boom, 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 boom. Notice that I'm not doing boom, 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 boom. That's completely different, because in this sound I use my lungs to make the kick sound. Boom, boom. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is have a kick that you can hum at the same time with, like boom, boom. The kick I use to be able to hum at the same time is basically But I make it like super short and like super punchy like If you don't know how to make this sound or That's basically the same thing, but I'm making like a bit smaller That sound is basically like you have some air in your mouth and then you push out with your tongue like You can search up tutorial wob wob bass on YouTube and you should see something that may be useful. And if you make the beginning of that, you can make that kick that is vital for this uh, routine. That's how I do it at least. Just to be able to hum and do the kick sound at the same time. I'm just using the air in my mouth. Uh, and that's uh, what you should be able to do as well. This is pretty vital, I think, for this routine. To be able to make this kind of kick that you can hum at the same time with. I will type that type of kick like lowercase b and m. If I don't write b and m together, I just mean regular kick. That's all the sounds. Let's get straight into the patterns you will need. So the first pattern is pretty simple, I won't go very deep into it, but it's a 
To get this pattern down and the melody and everything, you just practice. I don't have a special tip for this, except that you want to go pretty low with the throat bass here. Like, I go so low as I can without going into the vibration bass. Because if you go low throat bass, and then you go lower than that, like, you get that kind of vibration sound. And that's not really what you want when you want to make the throat bass. So I basically go as low as I can go, I believe, with the throat bass. And uh, you might have to do the same. I'll go through that pattern once again, one time slow, and then move on to the other two patterns that make up for this routine. <laughs> Also, you want to have like continuous kicks through this pattern, like like that. You want to have continuously, like you don't like. The next pattern is. And that's actually the whole pattern, but you loop this over and over again, like... So this pattern is pretty fun and if you learn this, the last pattern is very similar to this so I don't think it's gonna be a problem at all to learn the last pattern if you learn this pattern and then you're basically set for the whole routine. Before getting straight into this pattern, you can practice just the humming part in this. So before actually practicing the pattern because uh, I think that's kind of important, you don't want to have like Mm -hmm. You don't want to have a long like that. You want like... So you can practice that melody a bit with the hums. Before actually going into the pattern. I think that actually helped me a bit. And also try not to make it too forced like... Try to get it natural like you don't want to force anything because then it kind of sounds a bit worse. So just try to be natural like... And that might help a bit. So then we get into this pattern and the first sound is the BMG snare. There is no hum on this BMG snare so it's just a regular BMG snare. So that's the first sound and then we make the mm, so mm, mm, mm. and then it's the mm, 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 mm. notice it's the not a hi-hat, it's a and you hum at the same time with that, so so and then after that you make another so this part part is kind of symmetric like and then you put a BMG snare before, like, like. And you also want this timing, right? Like. So it's kind of like small pause that you can even say at the BMG snare. So after that, it's. We talked about this kick and hum at the same time. Next is. So from the beginning, Mm-hmm. 
You can pause the video, you can play that back or back and forth if you have struggled with this. And uh, then we're gonna move on. Last part is. BMD is now with him. Uh, and then just the same thing we did before. Try to just practice this part of the pattern first, and then we can put on the rest. So. This is like the only hard part of the pattern, I'd say. So uh, just try to get this down. And I don't know if I can give any particular tip other than just practice. Like. Notice that my humming is just very like precise here. Like. And then after you do this a lot, it's just in your muscle memory, like you don't, you barely have to think here. Like I don't really think too much. Uh, in the beginning, when you're practicing this, you're gonna have to think a lot and use your brain a lot. But then it's just muscle memory, so. So try to practice that a lot. You can go back and try it over and over. You can pause the video, try to get it down yourself. Uh, I don't know what more to say. I just think it comes down to practice. Mm, 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 mm. And then the last part of this pattern is. And that is basically just a kick and then the throat bass M. And then you continue that through. So I write a line there after the This means that I continue with the M's, throat bass M, all the way until I go back to the beginning with the so you hold the throat bass until you restart the pattern, until you start with that BMD snare again. Because uh, at that point, when you make that BMD snare again, you have no throat bass anymore. So, <laughs> so I advise you to practice this little short sequence. <laughs> Holding on to that throat bass and then making that BMG snare that resets the whole uh, pattern. You want to hold on to this throat bass until the last BMG snare. So yeah, just try to practice this whole pattern now uh, and then get it down real good and then you are very good to go. So if you get this pattern down, what you can do is also practice this. So you better kneel before you talk to a king. This is basically just the same pattern. You repeat it three times. On the last time, you make the you make the throat bass uh, a bit uh, higher on that last. And then you better kneel before you talk to a king. You better kneel before you talk to a king. The last pattern I'm gonna talk about today is the. So this is very similar to the pattern we just did. Like last pattern we did. 
But now we're like cutting that in half. So it's like. So the only difference here is that in the last pattern we, we did on the last uh, T I'm showing you here. And now we're just doing without any hum. So it shouldn't be too difficult to do that. And all, again, no humming on the first BMD snare there. And then this little thing I think you should practice is the that could be a bit tricky uh, because you're making the you make the BMD snare with the throat bass first that in itself could be hard like to do that punch like and then after that you make the like combine with the hum and then you finish that off with a throat bass M. So I actually practiced this myself in the beginning because I felt like my throat bass didn't get as crisp. Could also be hard to make this like fast, like to get that in there as well could be a bit tricky. Look at the pattern, do it slowly and then advance the speed. And then in the end it's just a just like in the last pattern, exactly the same here in the end. So, so the whole pattern you practice like this. So one thing that differs here in this pattern compared to last is and then you take a little break here and then you make also important could be like you make the you want to have like a short break that too there too like like so it's a little gap there. And just as in the last pattern, you do this three times, and then on the third, at the last, you make. You better know before you talk to a king. So I will show you here. You better kneel before you talk to a king. I'll do this very slow now myself. You better kneel before you talk to a king. You better kneel before you talk to a king. That's pretty much it guys, that's all the patterns I think you should practice. I will do the whole routine myself so you can try to follow along. I will have the beatbox lyrics or script or whatever you want to call it on top of me as I go in the description and at the end of this video as usual. I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> Running down the hallway You can't stay here 
take me under your wing I said, baby, you better kneel before you talk to a king You better kneel before you talk to a king you better kneel before you talk to a king. That's pretty much it guys for the whole video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you will be able to learn this routine. I think it sounds very cool this routine. Without further ado, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe. My name is Good, and I am out. <laughs>